the real story, not only Ingram being out, but as we'll see later when Penn State comes out with a true freshman quarterback, how he'll handle this atmosphere will be something to see. Underway in Tuscaloosa. Richardson runs over behind Jones, and from a yard in, he is coming out. And a penalty flag is thrown on the play as Richardson battles his way to the 26. But remember, there could be a block in the back or a holding call. We'll get this sorted out right now. During the return, illegal block in the back. Returning team for 55. Half the distance, first down. We'll see if they go up-tempo here at the beginning of this game. And here comes Richardson with the first carry. Slashes to the... 15-yard line. So the Alabama offense, we have talked about a couple of the key guys, but he doesn't get the credit he deserves. They come right back with Richardson, and he barges for the first and 10. Now on defense for the Nittany Lions, Jones goes off to the sideline on this play. He was matched against Danton Lynn, an outstanding corner. They come back with the running play, and very close to a first down that time. And a big lift for that Nittany Lion defense as they make Alabama hunt it away from the, their 16-yard line, and they keep it away from Davon. There's the fair catch. Made it about the 33-yard line. Kirkpatrick is on the other side, one of the most highly recruited corners two years ago. Now the screen, and they can't break out on top of it as the rush was coming. Farah hangs it high, forces the fair catch. Ball is loose on the ground. And number eight dives back down on it. Let's see what the Nittany Lions come up with defensively. They'll rush three. McElroy down middle high. Julio, and it's a first down across midfield. Number eight, Julio Jones. Second down and 11. They stay with the empty look. Down the middle. Complete to the 35-yard line, Darius Hanks. Will Tom Bradley dial up a blitz? McElroy stays empty. Here they come. Can't get there. In underneath the Mays. And Mays, short of the first down. He's the speedster. Look at second and two. This entire series has been designed. Here's the quarterback draw for McElroy to pick up the first and ten, but hold on. There's a penalty flag thrown by the referee. And obviously that will mean SEC referees up in Big Ten territory. Offense number 65. Ten yards. Repeat second down. They spread the field. McElroy looks back middle. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Kevin Norwood, the red shirt freshman from Mississippi. A 36-yard scoring strike. Picks it up and hands it off to Davon Smith, the speedster. So it looks like the Nittany Lions are going to try to get 20 some touches here, Herbie, with that speed. One of the interesting things about Alabama is that Nick is a little cautious with his defensive play calling tonight. He doesn't want to confuse them. And uh, they barge right straight ahead for the first down. So second down and 10 for Rob Bowling. Inside, fake is a beauty. Comes up and here comes Smith again, the speedster. And he goes right to that first down marker, steps out of bounds very close to it. Kirkpatrick is at the bottom of your screen. Bolden, going to go at the freshman, and grabbed. A beautiful catch by Derek Moy, working that sideline. Aaron Andrews told you about him. He has come in. Will they bring heat now on third down? Bolden, under pressure, fires to it, up in the air, and intercepted. Picked off inside the five-yard line by Will Lowry. He is the dime defensive back tonight. Now they go back to a regular 
I said here. Backed up in the shadow of the goal line. Here comes Richardson. You might remember the championship game. Richardson stepped free against Texas at about this time and broke a big one. Jim McElwain said they might miss him in the fourth quarter when they try to run downhill with that toughness that 22 brings to it. Here's your pistol formation now. Hand it back to Richardson. Now behind the left side. Look at him break tackles for another first down Alabama. There's that short handoff. And behind the left side, again it is Richardson. Breaking still another tackle. And across the 40-yard line. And there's a handoff to Lacey. And they are starting to gash this Penn State defense. And a wildcat formation is lined up. Here comes Richardson. They told us they would use it tonight. And he barges close to the 25-yard line out of the wildcat. Sticking with the wildcat. McElroy is at the top of your screen out wide. Jones comes as a fake. Richardson spins off it. And so here's something for the Gators and some of the other coaches around the SEC. That kick, it was like what, in the upper 80s? At noon today when we were doing game day, it was about 105 out on the field. Quick snap up by McElroy, who moved on back. Complete out of Julio. Slips a tackle, and he's out of bounds across the 10-yard line. Julio Jones did a great job blocking downfield sure. for the tie against that uh, Longhorn secondary. Now back in that pistol formation and whistle prior to the snap, and that'll cost the tie. Barrett Jones, Ball maybe. Start. Offense, number 65, five yards. No, it was the other side. First. It was Warmack. Straight back, waits, fires in zone, touchdown! Goes to Dial, Preston Dial. Well, there is a bonus for doing the dirty work. There's a guy who leads the end of rounds, gets downfield, seals linebackers, and here a little frosting for the big fella. Down two scores early. Bolden on first down, steps away from the pressure, takes off, and he is out to the 28-yard line. They've got Stephon Green as a running back. They do not show ISO on this third and short. And Stephon didn't need a lead fullback. And Alabama read that fact, and they were spread out just a little bit, and Stephon came right behind the right side of the offensive line, and the chains move. Moy is out to the right. Four receivers looking for him. Got him on a slant. Agon Moy for a first and ten across the 45-yard line. Golden. Here comes the end around, and it's Kersey. Got a block. And Kersey still going across the 20-yard line. They brought him in off the bench. Now, Herbie, no penalties against the Nittany Lions yet in this game, which is big. Play fake. Come in underneath now to Powell from Moy. Picked up by the Tide. In zone ahead, needs a block. Kirkpatrick has got it. Lester, the safety, is wrestled free. Ball comes out. Kirkpatrick tries to pick it up instead of falling on it. Nittany Lion ball. And I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect example of a youngster trying to score when he needs to get down on the ball. So we had three fumbles <laughs> from that wild play. Yeah. That'll be one of the plays of the night. Here's Royster bouncing out. Royster trying to get the first down. Yes, does indeed. That's his strongest run of the night. High booming pump, fair catch. Right at the Alabama 40-yard line. And uh, Herbie, here is our Chick-fil-A drive recap. Trent Richardson checks back in. Eight yards short of 100 here in the first half. That slip screen to Julio Jones. Strong outside receiver. Now Mays is back in the Wildcat. And they bring Julio around, and Mays keeps it number four to the outside. So he is the second Alabama player to run the Wildcat tonight. Here he comes. Twists free and picks up the first down. Second down and 10. McElroy drops it off of that spot. Stupar was coming, and here comes Richardson. 
A beautiful play call, and McElroy showing you why he's a Rhodes Scholar all the way. Odrick onto the NFL. He was a great player for him last year in that defensive line. Here and there's a flag. There's a penalty. Costly. This will be the fourth penalty against Alabama. Alabama. Offense, number 65. Five-yard penalty. It now remains third. Penn State has not been penalized. This will be a 31-yarder. And he's got it. Bama goes up by 17. Julio Jones would love to get a shot at one here. He's back on the tides, 25. Off the side of his foot. Just let that roll down at the 32-yard line. William Vallejos, a junior from right up the road in Birmingham, did a fabulous job against Texas, once ruined with McElroy. No center exchange problems here. Richardson gets the handoff. As often as he's back in the pistol and the gun as he is this time, looking down into the mill, Hanks has got it. First down in a foot race. They're in business again. Across the 30-yard line. Mays is off to the right. Sacked. Brought down at the 38-yard line. Terry Thomas sort of walks out there on him. The Lions rush four. McElroy bounces out to the right. And he's going to uh, step out of bounds. True freshman. Out of South Lake, Texas, where, where McElroy played his high school football. Let's watch this 44-yard long leg, this young man. Pulls it to the left. No good. They'd be crazy to take any chances here. Cut your losses and get into halftime. But Bolden's going to drop it off to Royster. Stays inbounds and then gave up a couple of yards. He'd be second down and 12. You know, Joe Paterno was a little bit unhappy with Royster's weight when he came back to camp. And then this week he said, now Royster's all right. He's, he, he's lost some weight. What's, what's your feeling watching him here tonight? Right? It's tough to run against his Alabama defense, is my feeling, no matter what his weight is. But uh, and I think as far as how he looks to me, he looks a lot like he's looked the last couple years, which is fit. But until this quarterback's able to take some of the pressure off of him with a consistent passing game, I think it's, it's, he's struggling right now. Well, Joe Pops down with Aaron Andrews, so let's go to Aaron. Twice they turned it over in the red zone. And here they come now with a first and ten. Royster's the running back. He'll get the opening carry. Bounced off a tackle. Good. First down run. Ball got loose, but it's out of bounds. Bolden pulls it back. Throws it in underneath to Smith. And the speedster is short of midfield. As we take a look at the summary, he will get up underneath his center for it as the Crimson Tide dives on him and he appears to have it. Third down, they put three down and send Highsmith from a stand-up position. Now Bolden got one-on-one, -on -one, complete first down across the 30-yard line that time. He steps up into a gap and now he backs out a step. But here they come. Incomplete intercepted, was it? It was picked off by Lester. And he made the catch, the official says. He is lined up with McElroy split up. It's a wildcat again, and here comes Richardson. I'll tell you what, folks. <laughs> How would you like to have a runner who's won a Heisman Trophy, and you come back the next year, and you unveil another candidate? <laughs> Takes his time. There was no rush, and hangs up for his coverage. Fair catch at the 25-yard line by Davon Smith. Good job by the punter that time. That's good news for the Nittany Lions. The bad news is they can't finish off their offensive drives. Play fake. Middle. Complete. And there's Brackett's first catch of the night. They got to the big fella who is quite a story. Yeah, Jones is back, uh, back deep again. Fair as the punter. And again, another short punt. Let it go out of bounds. So the freshman has 
punted the last two out of bounds. We'll take a break. Alabama still pitching a shutout in Tuscaloosa. And Reese, remember Tennessee was an underdog at home in Knoxville in that game tonight. And uh, here's Jones who'll be pushed out of bounds. And uh, Aaron, we noticed uh, McElroy was a little bit unhappy as he came off the field. Yeah, that that's for sure. I remember after those two touchdowns, they kicked a field goal and then misfired on the field goal. Now here comes Richardson. He has been the offensive standout. Gained better than 100 yards against Texas in that championship game. And here comes Richard Herbie. Take a look at tonight's good hands play brought to you by Allstate. Third down and two. And here comes a pass again if he gets it off. And he does underneath to Richardson. Still breaks free with that strength of his. Third down and six. Richardson again. Barging for the first down. Fourth down and one for McElroy. And he'll keep it himself and jump in there for the uh, first down. And uh, first down and ten for McElroy. Play fake. Out of the pistol. Stands tall. Fires. First and goal. Marquise Mays. Here's a young leader who had his interview for a Rhodes Scholar on Wednesday. And Alabama will back him for that scholarship, which would send him to Oxford next year. Here he is handing off to his ace running back, who is stopped two yards shy. So we ask him, what do you want to do after you earn your graduate degrees? Want him to get a touchdown, and he says, I'll oblige. Dives across for the score. Their first rushing touchdown of the night. Both of the first half were passes by McElroy, but Richardson in from one yard out. And they hand the ball off this time. And the, uh, the running back was red, Silas Red. Now, here's a freshman. the freshman slipped high tower pretty good looking little run for first down the young man in it first true freshman in Joe Paterno's era to ever start the opening game and he's got another first down with Smith down to the 40 need seven slant got it first down for the Nittany Lions that's twice Derek Moy on that little slant, well thrown that time by Rob Bolden. Colin Wagner, who was four for four against LSU in the bowl game, will try a 36-yarder to put the Nittany Lions on the board. There'll be no shutout. They'll settle for the field goal. Here comes the onside kick. Fielded by Alabama's Jones, and it'll be first down. Play a little quarterback for the Lions. I believe I saw statistically he played a little bit last week in that win. Fair catch just inside the 10-yard line by Justin Brown. And off to the freshman and picks up a first down second down and eight Newsom keeps it we're going to put four down and rush him can he get the first down yes Hightower is still on the field First down and 10. Off a of play action. Dumps it off to Smith. Another first down for the Nittany Lions. That's been their best play tonight. Just dump it out, out in the flat. Comes that end the round. Are they going to throw off it? Yes, they are. Into double coverage, however. Intercepted. Picked off by Barron. Barron. And uh, stepped out of bounds to Trent Richardson. Still on the field here. Big hole on the right side. Uh, 
keeping it on the ground, and they pick up a first down with Lacey. Here is Saban on the schedule of Boise State. You know, the worst thing that happened today for Boise State, James Madison beating Virginia Tech. If that was going to be their win that they hung their hat on all year long, the worst thing that could have happened is Virginia Tech not having a great year, let alone losing to James Madison. Here is fourth down and two, the final seconds ticking away. Stop short. The roar goes up. Joe Paul looking for Coach Saban, Darius, and Ingram get ready for their next outing. They'll both be back. No question, ladies and gentlemen, it was sweet home Alabama here tonight.